so yeah so i was going through the updates and um, it's it's good to see the progress um and all that you know you're uh, you've been developing in the research so good to see that um also um i just uh, let me just see who are all on this call who are all in the class um okay i just felt that for some of us um, we need to have some specifics. I don't know if, uh, okay, Kennedy has just joined. Um, yeah, Kennedy. Um, Kennedy, I, I remember going through your, um, uh, you know, the questionnaire that you actually emailed. And um, yeah, it's it's very, uh, very good, uh, the kind of, um, yeah, the questions that you've put out. Um, I think it's about, um, let me just see. Um, uh, isn't it about spiritual burnout that you're working on, Kennedy? A spiritual burnout, that's right. So, uh, yeah, the questions are uh, good. The questions that you want to ask uh, the leaders, the pastors, uh, good questions, very incisive, um, insightful, actually. Um, but the only thing is, uh, I just felt that if you if you would frame it a little differently, and also see all the questions I see are open ended, right? So, in places where you can have close ended questions, I think it will be it will be helpful. Like for example, let's say question number eight that you put out. You know, how many hours do you spend in a week attending your pastoral duties, right? So that can be a close ended one where you say, okay, five hours, eight hours, 10 hours, uh, you know, or, you know, more than that, or you can even put it in a range, you decide that, right? So that would, uh, that would help you, uh, it'll be easier for you to tablet, uh, rather than, you know, putting it open ended like this. Um, and also, you know, quest questions like, you know, have you ever taken a vacation with the family? Um, so I think you should, um, uh, you know, maybe um, uh, you, you can even say, oh, yes, no, you know, and also uh, the options to be yes and no, the answer. Uh, and also, I think it'll be good to find out how many, right? You know, how, you ever, how many ever, have you ever taken vacation with the family? And if they say yes, um, it would help to quantify. It would help to quantify and say, okay, how many times in a year? Maybe you're checking, you know, uh, once a year, once in two years, once in five years, you know, that gives a different picture altogether. And, uh, you know, how much uh, family time is there, you know, exclusive exclusive family time. So that gives a, so it will help you to um, to arrive at, um, you know, uh, give you more clarity in analyzing that. Um, so, you know, you can reframe the question. And also, um, you know, and other things like, do you have any regular exercise routine? You can reframe it to how many times in a week do you exercise, you know, or in, in uh, you know, like that, you know, uh, and you can quantify it and say, okay, I exercise daily, I exercise once a week, I exercise twice a week. So they can, it's easy for them to choose or, you know, none at all, right? So. So rather than saying, do you have any regular exercise routine? You can actually change it to how many times in a week do you exercise? And then say, none at all as one of the options. So you get that also. And uh, I mean, that answer response also. And you can have, you know, at the same time, you can say, okay, once, twice, thrice, daily. Uh, and also, you know, maybe you can have a question like how many hours? So you can get a picture of is that, is this person, intentionally you know doing things to uh, take care of their health and is it, if it's contributing to their uh, you know to their health and uh, you know maintaining their good health so you can arrive at that um yeah so so uh, like that i know you have about 15 questions but uh, like think through and see how well you can present it and how well you can you know articulate or, or uh, even quantify those things so it will help um, you to tabulate it in a better way. And also some things that you want to keep it as open-ended, you go ahead and keep it as open-ended, right? I hope that helps, uh, Kennedy. Do you have any questions on that? 
about your question. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So uh, yeah. So it's it's good going through uh, each and every one of your um, uh, you know um, the status up update of the project report. Um, uh, I just felt, um, Maggie, your um, report is on, I just see, yeah. Uh, so um, since it's about um, uh, about the relevance of the church, um, there's some of the things that you're, you know, you're, you're talking about the Moravians, which you've already studied in revivals, visitations, revivals, moves of God, you know, from that uh, book, so you might have to be a little careful not to overlap the same thing, right? You can, of course, refer to it um, because that's what, and your objective is different. You know, it's not to talk about revival, but you're talking about the relevance of the church. So I understand that. Um, and uh, you're also talking about the, you know, the, the link between those Moravian missions and also, uh, you know, the business part of it. So that's interesting and uh, how it actually helped so um sure so you know so i i see that um and uh yeah okay so you you've uh, you've mentioned the categories uh of what you are uh, actually researching and the time period um, but also, I think what is um, what is going to be the focus and emphasis is, um, you know, um, the future, right? You're looking at the church of the future, and uh, like it's it's important that you look at what's happening today, the relevance of what's happening today. I mean, I know the past information is what you had mentioned there. Uh, that you've done so far. Right? So just want to uh, remind um, that what is the future, the relevance of the things, uh, uh, the impact of the church uh, in the future, and uh, which means that whatever is happening currently, right, uh, that also needs to have equal or maybe even more emphasis. Um, yeah, Mangi, I just wanted to mention that. Um, anything that you want to talk about thank you sir um uh thank you thank you thank you very much the, yeah you helped me a lot in that, that point okay. yeah any questions uh further questions Mangi, on um on your work any doubts at all no uh not yet sir um okay however you uh the point you just raised now it, it is it is relevant mm -hmm. tough I must also do more research on, on the present. Yeah, yeah. So because the thing is, uh, this right, right. Because I realize that you know this information is very pre prevalent. The history, you know, it's 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 there. But uh, what is happening today, uh, and that is something that you need to put together, right? Okay, this is how it will impact uh, in the future. This is how it will have relevance to the church in future now that's uh, that may not be ready information readily available information i understand that so that that analysis and that putting together uh, is something that you would have to do yeah okay right um okay a anyone else uh, who's um, uh, who wants to talk about their work and um, and how any questions? Okay, Asha, go ahead, please. Um. Um, thank you, Pastor. I uh, just had a question on uh, once we're continuing the like for the final draft. I mean, yeah. the draft we did. Should we continue with uh, the final one with it, or we have to make another one for the research? Um, well, if you uh, if you reach the place where yeah. you want to. Uh, like uh, start writing the final draft uh, go ahead yeah go ahead and start writing that's fine that's okay thank you Mr. yeah okay 
Um, yeah. Uh, who, Prabhaka, go ahead, please. Um, anything that you want to ask? Yes, yes Pastor. Very good morning. Good morning. Uh, Pastor, uh, just uh, last time I had sent the, uh, the draft. Hmm. You guys, that, uh, I was working on the final draft uh, mm -hmm. simultaneously. Okay. So, is it is it uh, okay to like finalize the draft which I have sent with you or like any? Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I, I I didn't get the last part. Last, uh, 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 repeat that? The draft which I the draft which I sent you, Pastor. Uh huh. Uh, can I uh, like continue with that final one? I, like as it is actually because uh, I was preparing uh, as as if the final draft. So any suggestions you want to give me? Um, so I continue with okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that uh, okay, that update that you have done. Let me just uh, uh, go through that um, yes. about persecution, right? Per prevailing persecution. Yes. yes um, see, the thing is, you have not followed that MLA format. Uh, I think, Prabhaka. Um, oh. So yeah, so you check that format. The MLA format. This, uh, see, uh, with regard to font, with regard to uh, uh, the the lines, uh, check the format. Yeah, you you. I, I think you've just used a standard, you know, kind of a format, yes, uh, yes. and you've used that. But uh, since for this report we are using the MLA format, like you've mm -hmm. you've used, I think Cambria as your, you know, I think I don't know different fonts you have used in different uh, sections. Uh, of the report, right? Uh, so that I'm, that you can so change it. Yeah, so you just I'm yeah, you just go with the yeah. So otherwise, you know, table of contents, everything, um, index, everything is fine. Um, yeah. So this you will have to, you know, this this looks like you have, you know, picked up information from. Uh, from the internet, of course, you used whatever sources you used. I have been. Um, uh, uh, I hope you have. Yes. Yeah. So you will have to cite your sources. Okay. Right? You I, will I, have I to. Yeah, because that is not there, and you will have to cite your source. Okay, and also. Uh, yeah, and also as part of the thing, you know, your recommendations. Uh, so that will be. Uh, you know your recommendations and your analysis, um, so that will be separate. Yeah. So, um, so that is something that I don't yeah. see yet. I guess that you're working on uh, right now. Okay, well, you know, uh, recommendations so, and so. conclusion. Yeah. Um, so wherever uh, information. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I understand. No, I'm just pointing. I just yeah. I'm just saying that um, yeah, that sure, needs well. to be mentioned, and that's. Uh, um, that's a very uh, crucial part of the report, right? So this is information that you've, you know, that you've collected, and um, yeah, okay. So this is um, okay. So you've mentioned the history of the whole thing and how it has led up to today's situation, right? Um, so that's fine, but also some of the current. Uh, you know what's happening. Um, I think that needs to. Yeah, I think that also you've mentioned. Yeah, yes, I have mentioned. You have mentioned. Yeah, yeah, you have. Um, yeah. So if, um, if would would also would there be real time data? You know, maybe um, you're right now in um, a Baloda Bazaar, Chhattisgarh yes, Baloda Bazaar. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So if you have, you know, real time data but what i mean by real time data is like uh, you know some interviews or some things that you have collected from chatisgarh mm -hmm. and uh, areas so um yeah if that is there then you could uh, you know kind of mention that that will also give a lot more it will make it even more real and uh, yes. you know very uh, very current um i feel yeah okay Sure, Pastor. I'll add a few Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Thank you, Pastor. Sure, sure. No. So, 
I think uh, Abraham has mentioned something uh, abstract introduction, methods, result, conclusion. Should we follow this outline? Um, well, you could, uh, uh, but just ensure that um, you have that the format as such uh, that you use the MLA format, Abraham. Yeah, this is this is fine. You know, I know that it will differ for each uh, you know kind of uh, report. So this is fine. Okay. Um, who else? I think Susan um, had some question. Put your hand yes, up. Yes, sir. Yes, Susan. Yes, please. Sir, I have uh, started working on the project, and uh, almost half I have done it, but I didn't send you the draft. Sorry, no, that's uh, yeah. That status update is uh, you know I've mentioned the timelines and the guidelines, so that is uh, you know because that is also marked right. That carries some marks, so um, that needs to be there. So shall I send it to you? I mean, you can send it, but uh, yeah, if, if it's within the time frame, it'll it'll carry the full marks. If not, it won't. So that's the only thing. But please do send it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, any uh, particular questions, uh, you know, pertaining to your uh, area of research? Anything that you want to ask? Yes. Um, or uh, any challenges that you're encountering right now? Maybe you can talk about that so we can. Um, discuss that. Um, maybe lack of information or, um, yeah. Um, yes, please, Asha. Yeah. Um, sorry, Basya, I just wanted to uh, ask you on the this today. Yeah. It's just, um, um, I'm not done with people, how they manage it. How do they take care of the people in the Christian community about the disabilities? Mm. So, like, what are the basic questions to ask them? Like, example of um, that Otto Raja from Home of Hope. Mm -hmm. How, like, if I'm about to go and interview with him for how he maintained the disabilities in that category areas. So, mm -hmm. how do we approach with the questions that will, like, not put you kind of in situation where you're feeling uncomfortable but at the same time you're like um mm. yeah just something to... um see you, you you look at the objective of your report okay uh, i don't want to uh, like give you those specifics but you if you look at the very objective of your report uh, it's about uh, how the christian community is helping right and uh, what are the problems faced by uh, people uh, and I think it's it goes beyond you know it, uh, beyond just day to day, but also uh, their involvement in church and fellowship and all that, right? If I uh, remember it correctly, um, that's what you want to address. So, um, well, you look at that and you you put together a questionnaire, and then we can talk about it. Okay, so why don't you put together a sample questionnaire? of all the questions that you can think of and then uh, maybe you know i can we can fine tune it right but uh, it's important that you first put together the question and then we we can discuss it is that okay yes thank you yeah. so much okay right okay um who else uh, Um, so, um, Chris, how's it coming along? Your, uh, I think we were saying, no, like uh, you wanted to um, about the question a bit. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to see it first before we kind of issue that letter. So that's why. Uh, so how's it? How's that coming along? Are you still taking that approach? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Pastor. I'm, I'm taking that approach. Yeah. Um, I still have to uh, form up the questions and send it to you. Okay. Um, I uh, my my question is really about um, also the sorry uh, the 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 
target audience mm-hmm. uh, for this because I want to try and get um, get uh, a sample of uh, you know maybe three categories of uh, of of people people who have, who have never drunk alcohol. Mm. So that's one. The second one would be people who have drunk and are uh, you know who have given it up. Mm. And the third could be a category of people who have who are still drinking alcohol. Right. Uh, so I want to try and get that, but um, I guess I'm trying to understand you know, how, how what's the best way of being able to uh, you know do that. I know of people um, mm. uh, personally who have never drunk alcohol, mm. and, uh, so that is that that that's something that I, that those that would be a little bit easier. Right. Uh, the ones who have who, who have and who have given up, I think uh, that also I could I could get a few of those. Right. But the ones that are who are still still drinking alcohol, I think that's the one that where I was wondering whether I mean I was just wondering how was the best way of being able to get that to get that uh, hmm. that clarity. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, probably we could. Uh, I mean, I, I think what would help is if you can ask. Um, I think that that might help. Uh, you can say that I, I just want to, you know, find out there about. Uh, you know this whole perspective from them, so um, you know it would help if they can point you in that direction. And Sorry, of course, I I, uh, I missed uh, some portion of your thing. I know it. No, no, I, I was just saying that if you since you know people who have uh, you know who have quit, who, who used to drink and they've quit, and uh, maybe they can point you to others who in their circle of friends who know that they they still continue. They might be able to guide you. Um, I mean, just just a suggestion. Right. I uh, actually, I don't know that many people to be very frank with you with the mm. respect to that. Uh, you know, who have given it up. Um, and um, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's maybe about two or three of them. Uh, mm. you know, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a sensitive form. Uh, yeah. So. You, you, yeah, so you can say, you know, I, I like to keep the name and other details uh, uh, anonymous. So, and, uh, you know, but the other things like, okay, how long, their age, uh, you know, their faith and all that. Uh, so as long as you keep the name and the other uh, details, uh, basically the name, you know, uh, if you can keep that uh, classified. Uh, if they're going to re- not going to reveal their identity, I think they'll be confident to share that with you. Yeah. I um I don't think that I mean I'm I'm just I'm thinking a lot of yeah, but I I don't I don't think it's possible to, mm. to um say for example in a, in a confidential way contact a chrysalis for example and mm. uh, find out if there are any any cases that. Um, you know, under confidence, where they could, you know, mm. maybe they uh, can they can ask those people uh, for their permission before they even, uh, you know, give me that, uh, give me that con. Just because in the survey, I'm not expect. I mean, the questionnaire, I'm not expecting even for them to even mention their name. Mm. Um, the questions, of course, will will be able to determine, you know, which category they they fall into. Right. Um. So. Would you think it 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 may um you know it may help to to contact uh, Chrysalis and ask them if they can get, if they can um, give yeah Chrysalis no Chris because it's uh, I think that confidentiality is there uh, right from the start you know even before you start they um you know they do that so I don't think uh, that would be possible but I'm just thinking of uh, another Christian rehab um um. So we we can talk about that offline, and um, maybe uh, we can contact them. They should okay. be able to. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He will be able to help you with that. Um, 
yeah so i think that would uh, that would that would be a lot more you know specific and uh, there'll be more i think the sample size also would be pretty um, uh, you know sizable okay that would help. yeah let's try that approach mm -hmm. okay yeah so you so i i uh, i will uh, contact you uh... yeah i'll just uh, send you the details uh, okay. of the person and you can just have a call and see if that helps okay fine. yeah okay. he he runs the rehab it's a christian rehab so you can um, you can check yeah okay right. thank you yeah sure no problem okay anyone else and anything that you want to talk about specifically yeah yes rupa please Sir, I have sent you the draft. I'm going forward with the project because I have not received any uh, feedback. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I I know the topic and the approach that you have taken. Uh, so that's uh, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, just one second. Let me just open up. Um, Um, Rupert, could you just tell me, like, to which email ID you sent? Uh, Your uh, ID, sir, it is the previous one which I have sent, same uh, ID I have sent, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, let me just um, go Shall through I that. Shall I send it again? Because uh, no problem, no problem. I, I, it'll be there. I'm just, uh, yeah. It's March 1st, I have sent mm -hmm. it, sir. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, sent you the uh, the questionnaire all i have uh, already received 19 feedbacks feedback from 19 people yeah okay, so, responses from 19 people saying, yeah okay. Mm, okay 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 i think i kind of missed it okay okay i'll uh, i'll email you let me just go through okay sir email you. thank yeah. you any, sir. but other, apart from that anything specific that you want to talk about um uh, i thought yeah. each question uh, after i uh, have received uh, after receiving the answers can i also uh, add on my experience during my for each like uh, each uh, question i want to address in the paper Mm. Is it okay, sir? Instead of concluding everything together, towards huh? the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think, um, like, if you if you have conclusion as a, a conclusions and recommendation uh, as mm -hmm. something after you know uh, presenting and after the analysis, okay. that will be better. That will be clear. Uh, it will be a lot more clearer. I feel. Okay. Um, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Surupa, I'm just checking my uh, other email also, the Bible College email, I have not received. And um, I'm just checking my office yes. office email. It's, um, first March, I have not got that yet. Would you, do you mind sending it again, please? Sure, sure, sir. Yeah, you can send it to both the email IDs. Yeah, mm. um, okay. I have not got that. Yeah, sorry. You can just resend it. Uh, resend yeah, we'll, it. That's yes, it. please. Okay, fine. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yep. Okay. 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 So Abhishek. Yeah, Abhishek. Uh, just give me a minute, I'll check. So, yeah, about uh, Jewish faith, Christian context. Um, I think we, yeah, we discussed this on the call. Um, So, is this from um, from a research paper, Abhishek? 
from one particular research paper whatever you're presenting here uh, because you've not mentioned the source so um, sir i uh, cited the source in the int um, okay, just a minute. Mm -hmm. okay, those two articles, okay. Um, So, so where exactly do you want to see when we when we um, discussed on the call? You uh, actually had mentioned different direction, no, that you wanted to take the whole report to. Could you just tell me again what is it that you want to conclude, uh, or what is it that you want to uh, the objective of the re research? Uh, Abhishek, you just tell mm -hmm. us again, yeah. Like from beginning to end, like where it is started, and means everything about that. The that particular group of people from start to still that is going on. Mm. Their custom, their uh, it is not finished. The report is, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed. Okay, uh, okay. So I just feel that it needs to be uh, kind of arranged a little differently, uh, Abhishek. Um, see, there's a lot of information uh, on the beliefs and on the um, things. So maybe you need to write it in your own words. You know, I think it's more of a, you know, copy paste from the report, which is, meant, which is here, which I see here. Um, so that needs to change. Okay, that's one thing. Okay. Having yeah, you can you can quote the report. You, you, I mean, you can quote the articles, um, but this is you know you're using the entire article, uh, which is not really what we want, right? In a report, so you you go through the articles, you go through the information, and you quote what you want to. Um, mention here to to kind of uh, give an insight into what you're sharing, you know, what your findings are, what you've actually learned, what you've studied about this this community of uh, Messianic Jews. And, um, but you cannot quote verbatim, you know, from the end. I think a lot a lot of it is from from that first source that you've cited, and. Uh, and in fact, the whole thing is from there. You know, and if you're um, if you're going to be using that, then that won't be the point of the research. Actually, you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so you I will, uh, like mm. I'll thought that uh, like uh, after the during the conclusion, I will put my thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, true. But but also, you know, in you, your thoughts as in your conclusions to this, but even this, you know, this uh, based on what you have, like, uh, based on the article that you've read or what you've learned, uh, putting it in your own words. Okay. Presenting it in your own words. But this is because this is someone else's work and uh, you're just, you know, it, it, the whole portion of it, you know, of someone else's work. That you are, you know, presenting the whole thing. It's, it's and it's uh, it's word to word, verbatim, uh, with the pictures and everything, right? So it's someone else's work that you're presenting. So you can't be doing that. Like I know that you're citing it at the end, but it's like, uh, a, you know, like uh, 60, 50 percent, sixty percent of it is is that. So rather than that, in your own words. In right in reading this article, what did you, what did you come to, right? Your understanding of it. You write it in your own words, and of course, towards the end, you are going to write your conclusions, and uh, you know that is fine. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think that that's a big change that needs to happen in this. Right. 
Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Or anything else that you want to? First, I have a question. Yes, Maggie. Um, if is it possible to send you an update, updated uh, uh, copy of our uh, uh, what's the word? Is it possible to update our our, our work and send it send it to you? And not wait till the deadline. Um, okay, you you want uh, you want me to kind of review, uh, like uh, I I saw what you actually put up, but you want um, to change that, that update really that, and then. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Um, to get more information, do some more research and update, and send it to you. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead. You can and and probably if you uh, if you have any questions based on the update, you can mention that also. So uh, I can address that. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the question, when um, I have is that uh, as you said about finding more information about the church of uh, the present church and what they're doing. So uh, I had it in mind to create a form that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I can forward to different churches all over the world. Uh, and uh, Sorry, I missed that last bit. Um, so you, you want to make a questionnaire and, and forward it uh, to others? Different churches around the world. And just to find out, to get more information on what to do in mission fields. Because most mission fields uh, nowadays, people just go to preach the gospel, they go preach the gospel, and then come back. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what uh, I plan to do, to, to send a formula, uh, a form. Like a question, yeah. So you can, uh, when you update your, uh, the you know, the status of what you're doing, uh, you can also mention the uh, questionnaire, um, and we can take a look at that also. We can review that, sure. Thank you, Pastor. Right. And also, um, you know, if you're doing it online, like what we were discussing in the last class, um, you can use Google Forms, and uh, you can uh, put it online. It'll be easier, simpler to tabulate as well. You can do that. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'll um, do that. Yeah. Welcome, Maggie. Welcome. Um, anyone else? Um, yes, Sabhishek, please. Uh, uh, is the format is correct? Are they? I use um yeah it's it's actually all in bold um did you check with the mla format abhishek uh, yeah okay okay um yeah i think the line spacing is fine and uh, yeah so the the there are other things like i think a list of contents and you know those okay. kind of things so you can you can just use that Check the template. You can use that. Um, yeah, but uh, you've made it all bold, so you can change that, please. It doesn't have to be all bold. And also, just check this font size. You can, yeah, you can just check that as well. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Okay, so if there are no more questions, we can stop right here. But if you have any, please, uh, we can discuss it.
So yeah, so today is the 14th of March, and um, and we have um, some time before we, you know, uh, so the collection of information and everything pertaining to that, please uh, speed it up, and also putting together the final report. Um, you know, you can once every, everything is in place, you can you know start on that as well right um, so just time it um, from now on till the uh, you know the final presentation just time it well um, so you can so you don't have to rush through any of those right? okay okay so so yeah most welcome um, and uh, asha kung so we shall be um we'll check close right now okay so thank you and all the best we'll we'll catch up again uh next week right okay. god bless bye bye